Hello, this is David Van Oy coming to you on Facebook Live from the Van Noy Real Estate Group. We're also known as World Headquarters here. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll get some people that will log on here that have some questions for us. Yes, absolutely. And Bree is also live with me. Hello, hey, David. Bree. Hey, how are you? It's a great, it's Facebook Live Friday. Yeah, yeah, it is. So what does that mean? That means we are going to ask you some questions about the market live on Facebook. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so people can chat their questions live or comment right on the... Yep, and then I can ask them, um, ask their questions, and you can answer okay, them. Cool. And you have some questions for me too, right? I absolutely do have questions for, for you. Okay. So um, my first question is basically, what is happening in the market right now? What is happening in the market? What a great question. So um, that's actually one of the questions that I'm answering a lot over the phone, talking to my clients uh, and past clients and just people that are curious about the market. But what is happening in the market? So I'm always, I'm always curious because I have all the stats. I have all the numbers that show what's really happening. But what's kind of interesting is when we look at what people think is happening which is like the perception in the marketplace, right? And so if their perception is it's slowed down or the opportunities are different or um, or that it's going to be bad moving forward, then that kind of becomes the market, right? So the answer to the question is, first, it depends on who you are. How's the market if you're a buyer or how's the market if you're a seller? Uh, if you're a buyer, you're kind of experiencing the fact that you're not competing with five other people maybe to buy a house right now. So if you make an offer, you still have to do it pretty quickly, but you're not competing as much as you were, say, 60 days ago. And if you're a seller, same thing. You're not getting five offers on the first day, but you're probably getting one or two offers after 10 days. Does that make sense? That that does make sense, which actually brings me to my next question. Um, if I am thinking about selling my house right now, should I wait or could I do it right now? That's a good question. So should you wait to sell your house? So the question usually comes up, I mean, today's November 30th, right? So um, there's quite a few people that listed their houses with me this week because it made sense to sell the house now sometimes for personal reasons and, and sometimes for the market. So if you, your question is, should you sell the house now? It's a good question, but each scenario is gonna be different. Um, so if you have a $700,000 house as an example, and you're concerned that maybe interest rates or inventory or other things that could hurt you are going to be worse in 2019, then you may want to sell the house today. If you're selling a $250,000 house in Overland Park or Lee Summit, that's always a good time. You know, well, I won't say always, but is now a good time to sell that? Yes. And is waiting a better opportunity? Depending on your specific situation, probably not. Does that answer the question? Yeah, that does answer my question. Okay. Um, so I guess my next question would be, what is the market going to look like for 2019? There's a lot of uncertainty about what's going to happen in, in 2019, right? So I like to say that there's really smart people that put out reports that say that it's still going to be a strong opportunity for sellers to get their home sold, uh, which means inventory right now in the Kansas City metro area across the whole metro is there's a 2.6 month supply of homes. That's a very, very short amount of homes to sell. So that means that there is still a lot of pressure on the market, meaning that sellers should be able to sell pretty quickly and buyers uh, can't find really great deals, if, if that's an appropriate way to say that. So in 2019, so back to the smart people, right? The smart people say, 
2019 and 2020, a similar amount of homes will be selling at a similar price point. So that means it's kind of unchanged. There was about 10,000, let me give you the exact number. There was 10,732 houses that have sold in Kansas City so far this year. And if around 10,000 sell next year, that's a really good number, meaning that it's not going to change the market to the point where it makes sense to stay away from it. Fair enough? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So um, if it is a little tight for buyers right now with it being such a seller's market, like what would you think, um, like what are builders and developers saying? That's actually a good question because uh, it's interesting to, to see what the developers and the builders are doing because historically we're at an all time high right now uh, for uh, the difference in price from a resale home to a new home. And that means if someone has been in the home for four or five years, they're selling the house, that home will be treated as a resale property and the new construction homes are at a really high high price, right? So what we're seeing though, is that the builders are quickly responding to the marketplace, reducing their prices and now incentivizing buyers. So what does that tell us? That tells us that six months ago, there would have been a line of people trying to buy a new home and they would not have had to come down on the price or incentivize a buyer with any type of closing costs for anything. They would have had to do nothing to sell the house, if that makes sense. Now, what's happening now is we're seeing some of the bigger builders and developers that are offering incentives. So paying closing costs, coming down on the prices or throwing in upgrades to get homes sold. So depending on the price point you're in, let's just say it this way, new homes are now at a discount compared to what they were two, three months ago. Interesting. So what you're saying is I should just sell my house and then build a new one? Well, you know, it's a, so that, that's a good way to say it because if you're selling a big house and buying a smaller one, that's one scenario. If you're buying a smaller one or selling a smaller one and buying a bigger one, totally different scenario. Um, and it all depends on your specific needs. So I get I get people that are looking for, and, and it's good for this purpose too, right? That are looking for just general advice. Should I be in the market? Should I buy? Should I sell? And every situation is so different that in some situations, we look at your cash reserves. We look at what your home is actually worth. We look at the builder's incentives, and we look at the homes that are available on the market and determine exactly what the best plan is for you. So as a salesperson, you know, we end up saying things like, yeah, it's a great time to do something all the time. But quite often, Bree, I tell people not to do anything or to wait or to rent. Uh, quite often, I give people the advice that they should not do any business with me at this time. And that's one of the things that I find that people don't expect from a real estate agent, right, is that I might say, don't do anything or just wait. You answered all of my questions that I had for today. So um, I, I'm all good to go, but thank you so much for having me on today. I appreciate yeah. it. And maybe we can do some more Facebook Live Fridays. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, awesome. I'm, I'm down if you are. All right, so the people that were on here, they can comment, right? And they yeah. can ask questions after this is over? Yep, they can still ask questions. Um, your Facebook Live will actually post to your Facebook. So this video will still be around for people to watch and they can comment and you okay. can answer. All right, so leave your questions, your comments, uh, and I'd be happy to help. Thanks, Bree. Cool. Yeah, thank you, David. Before I go, um, yeah. what what is a good number to reach you at if I do have any more questions? Gosh, I'll be at this desk all day and the number is 913 259-4663. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye.